Hello everyone, today we will compare Stripe and Moly, two popular payment processing platforms in the world. So Stripe is known for its extensive developer tools and global reach, making it a top choice for businesses of all sizes looking for customization and scalability. While Moly is a user-friendly payment solution that emphasizes simplicity and ease of integration. So in this comparison, we'll dive deep into their features, pricing, customer and support, pros and cons and at the end of the video i help you choose which one is the best for you so make sure you watch till the end because i have created a presentation that will help you easily make an informed decision to choose the correct option and if you want to sign up for stripe and moly you can use my affiliate links in the description below where i will earn a small commission at no additional cost to you and you might also get rewards and discounts upon signing up so without any further ado let's get started so now let's go directly to the features comparison. So when it comes to payment methods, so Stripe has credit debit cards, ACH, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Alipay, WeChat Pay, etc. While Molly offers the uh, credit and debit cards also, IDL, Band Contact, SoForth, SEPA, Direct Debit, PayPal, Klarna, Apple Pay, etc. So when it comes to subscription billing, Stripe has comprehensive subscription billing with advanced features like trials, upgrades, downgrades, coupons, while Molly has basic subscription billing with recurring payments, limited advanced features. When it comes to uh, invoicing, uh, Stripe has customizable invoices, automated payment reminders, and multi-currency support, while Molly has simple invoice generation, payment reminders, and multi-currency support. So when it comes to uh, another features, which is the uh, checkout experience, Stripe has customizable hosted checkout pages, pre-built UI components, and mobile optimized. While Molly has hosted uh, payment pages, customizable and responsive checkout, and it's easy to integrate. When it comes to uh, APIs and developer tools, Stripe has extensive API, SDKs for various programming languages, robust documentation and developer support, while Molly has user-friendly API, clear documentation, SDK for popular languages, and straightforward integration. When it comes to fraud prevention, Stripe has advanced fraud detection tools, machine learning algorithms, and radar for fraud detection, while Molly has built-in fraud monitoring, risk assessment tools, and customizable fraud rules. So when it comes to uh, uh, global reach, Stripe is operated in over 40 countries, supporting over 135 currencies, and Moly focuses on European market only, supporting multiple European payment methods and limited global reach. So when it comes to ease of integration, Stripe is highly customizable, requires technical knowledge, uh, extensive re resources for developers, while Moly is easy to in integrate with various platforms and its user-friendly setup plugins for major e-commerce systems and when it comes to uh, additional service so stripe additional service is uh, atlas for business incorporation sigma for custom reports and capital for business financing while moly has limited additional service only focusing primarily on payment processing so now that's it for the uh, features comparison. So now let's go directly to the pricing comparison. So as you can see, when it comes to uh, setup fees and monthly fees, both Stripe and Moly doesn't have any fees. So they don't offer or they don't require any setup or monthly fees. And when it comes to transaction fees, uh, Stripe offers 2.9% plus $0.30 per successful card charge in the U.S., while uh, on Molly, it varies by payment methods. So when it comes to credit and debit cards, they offers 1.8% plus 0.25 euros. When it comes to IDL, they offer 0.29 euros uh, transaction fees. So bank contact, 0.39 euros. On so forth, they offer 0.9% plus 0.25 euros. SEPA Direct Derbit, uh, they offer 0.25 euros. PayPal, 2.9% plus 0.35 euros. While on Car Klarna, they offer 2.99%. So when it comes to international card payments, Stripe has additional 1% for international cards, while Moly has additional 1% for non-European cards. And when it comes to uh, currency conversion, Stripe has additional 1% for currency conversion, while Moly has additional 2% for currency conversion. And lastly, when it comes to payout fees, Stripe has no payout fees, while Moly, none also for standard payouts, but they have 0.25 euros for instant payouts 
and yes that's it so we're done with the uh, pricing comparison so now let's go directly to the uh, customer and support comparisons and when it comes to support channels Stripe has email, live chat, phone, extensive documentation, and community forums. While Moly, same thing. So they no uh, difference. So when it comes to availability, Stripe is 24/7 for email and chat support. Phone support is available during business hours. So when it comes to Moly, they available for business hours for phone and email support. So when it comes to response time, Stripe typically within a few hours for email and instant via live chat. While uh, Molly typically within a few hours for email and it varies for phone support. And when it comes to dedicated account manager, uh, Stripe, uh, they have available for enterprise customers. And when it comes to Molly, they available for high volume merchants. So when it comes to self-service resources, Stripe has comprehensive online documentation, guides, and tutorials. Same thing with Molly. And when it comes to community support, Stripe has active community forum, developer, community, and frequent updates. And same thing with Moly. So when it comes to onboarding support, Stripe has detailed onboarding documentation, additional personalized or optional personalized support for enterprise clients, while Moly has personalized onboarding support available, comprehensive guides and tutorials. And lastly, when it comes to uh, training and webinars, so Stripe offers webinars, detailed video tutorials, developer workshop, while Moly has occasional webinars and detailed guides and tutorials. So yes, that's it for the customer support, pricing, and the features comparison. So now let's go directly to the uh, pros and cons and let's start discussing Stripe pros and cons. So Stripe, when it comes to pros, they operate in over 40 countries and support over 135 currency, making it ideal for international businesses. They offer a wide range of features including subscription billing, invoicing, and advanced fraud detection. They have extensive API, SDKs for multiple programming languages, and robust documentation, making it highly customizable for developers. And they provide detailed analytics and reports tools for business insights. And lastly, they support various payment methods including credit, debit cards, ACH, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Alipay, and more. And when it comes to cons, Stripe has extensive features and customization options and it can be overwhelming for small businesses or those without technical expertise. So while support is available 24-7, phone support is limited to businesses, hours, and enterprise customers. And the transaction uh, fees can be relatively high, especially for international payments and currency conversion. And lastly, refunds do not return to the original transaction fees, which can be costly for businesses with high refund rates. So yes, that's it for this Stripe pros and cons. So now let's go directly to the uh, Molly pros and cons. And when it comes to pros, Molly has strong presence in Europe and with support with popular European payment methods like Ideal, Bank Contact, and support. And they have user-friendly setup with integration process suitable for small to medium businesses without extensive technical resources. They have clear and straightforward pricing structure with no setup or monthly fees. They generally uh, provide quick payouts often within uh, two business days they offer supports in multiple european languages catering to local business needs and when it comes to uh, cons moly is primarily focused only on europe with limited support for businesses outside this region so they lack some of some of the advanced features offered by stripe such as extensive subscription management and advanced analytics the customer support is limited to business hours, which may not be ideal for businesses operating outside of European time zones. And they have higher currency conversion fees, which is 2% compared to Stripe, making it less cost-effective for international transaction. And lastly, they have additional services, so fewer additional services compared to Stripe, focusing mainly on payment processing only. And yes, that's it for the Moly pros and cons. So we're now we're done with the pros and cons. Now let's go to which platform is the best for you and let's start that by discussing who should choose Stripe. So Stripe is uh, referable for someone who operates in multiple countries and need a payment processor with global reach. Someone who have a development team that can take advantage of Stripe extensive APIs and customization options. Someone who require comprehensive subscription management, advanced invoicing and robust analytics. Someone who manage high volumes of transaction and need advanced fraud detection and prevention tools. And lastly, someone who primarily serve customers in the U.S. and other international markets where Stripe has a strong presence. 
so yeah if you have all of these qualities stripe is the best platform for you so now let's go to who should choose moly so moly is uh, referable for someone who primarily operate in europe and need a strong support for local european payment methods like ideal bank contact and so forth someone will refer a user-friendly setup and integration process without the need for extensive technical resources someone will require quick and reliable payouts typically within two business days so someone will need a payment processor with no setup fees and clear transaction fees and lastly someone will serve primarily local european customers and do not require extensive international payment support so yeah if you have all of this quality moly is referable to you and yeah that's it so in conclusion uh, both stripe and moly offer robust payment uh, solution each with its own strength so stripe is a fantastic choice for businesses looking for extensive developer tools global reach and advanced features on the other hand moly stands out with its simplicity ease of integration and a strong support for european payment methods so choosing between the two will ultimately depends on your business needs so technical resources and target market so evaluate your priorities and select the payment provider that aligns best with your goals so with that being said the comparison is over and i hope this comparison helps you choose the correct option that's it for today's video see you in the next one